Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today is my annual spring savings event video. I'm gonna give you all of my recommendations and also tell you what I plan on getting during the sale. If you're unfamiliar with the sale, basically Sephora has this twice a year where they have different tiers for discounts. I will put them all on the screen right here so you can see what they are, but each tier gets a certain percentage off and it ranges for a certain amount of time. What's really great about the sale is that for the majority of the products that Sephora sells, they don't go on sale at a lot of other places. So if you're looking for something in particular and you wanna get it at a discount, now's the time, but things do sell fast. So I am gonna give you a lot of my recommendations and then what I plan on getting at the end. So I hope you enjoy, please subscribe and let's just jump right in. So my thought process with going into the sale is getting those higher price point items that you can't really get at a discount and anywhere else. So when it comes to hair tools, perfumes, fancy moisturizers, things like that, that's when I really like to get them is during the sale because otherwise you're gonna have to pay a full price normally. So I'm um, starting with the Dyson Airwrap. I am obsessed with this. This has been probably one of the, I mean, today I used a normal curling iron. I did like beachy waves today for the first time in forever, but I've been doing like a blowout with my hair recently and I've been using the Airwrap. And anytime I use this consistently, both of the girls that do my hair tell me that they notice a huge difference in the health of my hair. I don't understand the witchcraft behind this thing. I don't understand how it works, but apparently it's better for your hair. I don't really understand it, but I will link it down below. I just love it. It makes me get that like Cindy Crawford type of hair without actually like really having to try. So I really like that. Other high price point things that I would recommend are perfumes. So two of my favorites are from Jo Malone. This is the Peony Blush Suede Perfume and then the Jasmine Sam Bach and Marigold. I love these separately. I love them together. While I'm sitting here, let me just... Mm. It just smells so good. I'm obsessed with these. I am run, I'm basically out of peony blush suede. I should probably replenish this. Part of me is like, I don't know. I know perfume is like technically bad for you. I feel like everyone's saying everything is a hormone disruptor and everything is like toxic and whatever. I take everything with a grain of salt or maybe I implement it in some ways and not in others. So I don't know, I kind of stopped wearing perfume on the regular. I don't wear this every single day, but if I am going out for the day, I'll do a little spritz spritz on me and it, they, they smell incredible. Up next, I have my favorite moisturizer. They have a couple of sets with these too. This is the La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream. I have loved this since I worked at Nordstrom at the matte counter. I used to get samples of, the, samples of this. Um, so many people say it's not worth it. I'm gonna be one of the only ones that says that it is. I truly love this moisturizer and I keep coming back to it. I just love it. And if you're in the mood to get a bougie moisturizer, now's the time because you can get a discount. So I will link it down below. Um, I don't like their regular creme de la mer cream. That's a little bit too thick for me, but this one specifically, I just love. I love it. Another bougie product that I would highly recommend getting during the sale is the K18 hair treatment. I have been loving this. Um, I think you're only supposed to use it like five times in a row and then chill out for a little bit. You can overuse it, so I've heard. So I've only used it, um, I think the five times, and now I haven't used it anymore just because I don't wanna like overuse something, but it really has made my hair feel really, really soft. It's supposed to be really healthy for your hair, apparently. I don't know all the science behind it, but um, check out reviews online and stuff. I, I really enjoyed it. I got the small little sample size because I didn't wanna spend $75 on a hair treatment, especially if I didn't know if I was gonna like it. So I think this one was like $25. It is really small. I really like it. I really do. And I'm curious to see how it works with my hair. This is still all my natural hair. I feel like I'm at like this very awkward stage with it where I feel like it needs to be either shorter or it needs to be longer. And I go in May to get it bleached again and I was contemplating having her cut it just because it's at this awkward length. But then I was looking at it and I think I'm just gonna stick it out and try to grow it just to get that one. I need like one more inch to my hair, but right now it's like, I just feel like, I don't know. I can't make it look good unless I'm doing like a blowout, like the waves, it's just like throwing me off, which is so weird. Cause this has always been like my go-to hairstyle. 
anyways um yeah i'm excited to see what this does to my hair and next time i go and get my hair done i'll ask my hairstylist about it um the girl that normally does my hair was on maternity leave so she hasn't done my hair since i think july or august of last year i'm excited to see her again i go in may and um when i'm there i will ask her about k18 and get more information on it because she knows the ins and outs of it so yeah, while we're on the topic of hair, I'll share those favorites and then I'll get into makeup, which normally it's flip flopped. So, but yeah, since we're talking about hair. So I recently talked to you guys about how I was really getting bad dandruff just over the past couple of years. It just kept like getting worse and worse and worse. And then I realized, you know, there's shampoos and things that can help with that. So one of the things that has really made such a big difference was the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Shampoo. I've been loving this. It really feels nice and gritty in the hair, which I like. I just keep it right at the scalp. I don't bring any, I actually don't bring any of my shampoos down down the shaft, um, down to the ends. This looks like this, just a little charcoal hair shampoo. So I used that and then I bought, um, because I'm like trying to just keep my hair healthy, I got this um, shampoo and conditioner from Amika. It's called The Cure. This one's just the conditioner, but I also use the shampoo and I use this in conjunction with a hairbrush. I got this hairbrush on Amazon, but if you're shopping the sale and you want a discount on a hairbrush and stuff like that, they have the like a very similar one on Sephora's website. I checked before I sat down today because if you're looking for something that's really good for dandruff, these two things have been life changing. I just like don't even have it anymore, which is shocking because I've had it for so many years, but that it's because I just never did anything about it. So um, those are the hair things that like the hair shampoos and things that I've been using recently that have made such a big difference in my hair and that I've been really loving. And if you're in the mood to try some new products out, I highly recommend those. One last hair product is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I love this. For the longest time, I actually hated the way that Living Proof smelled just because I used to work at Sephora and like the whole back hair section smelled like living proof and so I got sick of that smell but now it's been some years since I've worked there and I can appreciate the smell again and it works really really well I feel like it's hard to find a good dry shampoo that works and I feel like the consensus of this dry shampoo from most people is that they really like it it's lightweight but it gets the job done and it doesn't leave an insane white cast. Um, although I'm probably not the person to speak on that just because my hair is lighter. I'm gonna share some makeup recommendations and then we'll do like skincare. We're bouncing all over the place today. So um, as far as foundation goes, I have three favorites here that I wanna share just because these have been my go-tos for years. If you've been around here for the last couple of years, you'll have seen me use at least one of these. So the first one is the Pat McGrath foundation. This is a very bougie foundation and in conjunction with this, the concealer, these two are my favorites out of all of these foundations. This Pat McGrath foundation gives you more of a tinted moisturizer type of finish to the skin. It's very um, sheer to medium coverage. It's beautiful. Um, if you have anything that you want to cover more so, but you still want like a thinner coverage, I would go in with this and then just spot conceal. You don't have to go in with a very full coverage. Like say you have a lot of acne or you have just any kind of like hyperpigmentation or something that you want to cover, try going in with this and then spot concealing. It will feel oh, just like so lightweight, especially with summer coming up and like hotter weather. Sometimes it's nice to not have on such a thick foundation. So this has been my jam. I love this. These two I really like. I feel like these are actually very, very similar. I've got the Anastasia Luminous Foundation and I have the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I love these. They both give like a radiant finish, but a medium to full coverage. They are gorgeous. I love these. These are like more of my, if I want like more foundation on my skin, I go for these because this one is a lot more sheer, but I love these. The other day I wore this and totally forgot like how amazing it was. The only thing I don't like is that the pump only pumps out a little bit at a time. My color in the Pat McGrath one is light medium nine. Laura Mercier, my color is macadamia. And then in the Anastasia one, I'm 220N. I've been recommending those since like 2018. This is a newer product for me, but I am obsessed. And you've heard about it from everybody else except for me until now. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. I love this. This is like the old school school 
brow gel. I'm gonna add more, even though I've got it in already. Uh, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, I love this. I love the spoolie and how small it is. I love the color. It just is great and it makes them stay all day. Um, what color? I'm in the shade brown. <laughs> yeah, I really like this. I feel like everybody talked about this for years and I just, I never bought it because where I lived, the only place that had Glossier was downtown in the city and I don't really go there that much. So um, now I feel like you can get it at a lot more places. So this was at a Sephora. So I picked it up and I've been using it for like the last month and I really like it. Of course, I have to mention my favorite bronzers at the moment. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand and then the Airbrush Bronzer. I'm obsessed with these. I have both of these on right now and I actually just filmed a how-to contour and highlight video, an updated one because it's been so long since I've done one, but I show you how to, how to apply these products and layer the products and get a like snatched contour face without it being like too overly dramatic and like fake looking. Um, I have the shade Fair Medium in this one and then I'm in the shade Medium in the powder bronzer. I will link them down below, I'm obsessed. And then my favorite lip products. So this hands down, like Anastasia really knocked it out of the park with her lip liners. I love them more than any other lip liner probably. These are where it's at. These are just your traditional lip pencil. The color that I love specifically is Cool Brown. I have it on my lips right now paired with my favorite lipstick. This is the Patrick Ta Oshi Single Lipstick. It's the perfect nude like these two together are so perfect for my skin tone and I feel like even if you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone than I do I think you would really like this combo because it is like on me I feel like it goes it's like a medium nude so if you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone this would be like your perfect neutral to lighter nude I just love these together this glides on so nicely so easily blends like a dream and stays on where this is like matte but it's hydrating and moist and like it looks like velvet on your lips. I am in love with this. This was also out of stock for like forever and it's back in stock now. So I'll link them down below. I'm gonna include this. I don't know if it's in stock. It might be because of the sale, but um, this is the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes eyeshadow palette. This has been one of my most used eyeshadow palettes ever since it came out. I love it. When Mario made this palette, it was inspired by different skin tones. He is a professional makeup artist. You guys probably know him because he does Kim Kardashian's makeup. Each eyeshadow is inspired by a different skin tone. So when you're doing your makeup, it's nice to have something like this to refer to because then you know that the colors are gonna be flattering. It's like you're putting a different shade of skin on your eye to create a natural looking eyeshadow look. This is what I have on my eyes right now and I just think it's so easy to use and it makes a lot of sense. So I love these, they're so beautiful, so blendable and I love it, but I feel like the last year, every time I go to link this, it's been out of stock. So hopefully it's back in stock now. I feel like a lot of this is very redundant, very repetitive, but I like what I like. I've been using these products for years and they just work for me and I stand by them. I'm not just gonna pick random ass products just to share something new with you. I'm only gonna share stuff that I genuinely love and have used and have continued to use over the years. Um, I, I'm sure I have way more favorite products than just this. Actually, I know that I do. So if you're curious, check out all of my monthly favorites videos because I share makeup and hair and skincare stuff in there all the time that are just like classic go-tos that I stand behind, but I just wanted to share some of my genuine favorites, some things that are a little bit higher priced because I want you to get the deal on the things that are higher priced. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna share my skincare favorites. Next up is this Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Facial Oil. I love this and I just ran out and this is actually on my list of things that I need to buy because I'm obsessed with it. I've been doing the like lymphatic drainage but I haven't been doing it for the last like three weeks because I ran out of my oil. It's perfect timing that the sale is going on right now because I need to buy another one. I love this. It's very low on the EWG rating scale or whatever. Um, I just love Drunk Elephant as a brand. I really like their products and this is definitely something that I have to replenish. So I highly recommend this. They also have their um, Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I alternate between that, 
moisturizer and this moisturizer. This I recently bought, so I'm using this currently, but when I run out of this, I will get that one and just keep kind of flipping between the two. But um, that's also a really good moisturizer. And then this, I'm so happy. So um, I've been obsessed with the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I have literally like a quarter amount left in mine and I just keep it in the shower because that's where I remove all my makeup. And I was like, oh crap, I need to get a new one. I must have bought this in the last sale because I found this in my cabinet and I'm so excited. I forgot that I bought it and I am so happy. So now I don't have to buy it. Um, but yeah, I love this. You add this to your face while it's dry and it just completely melts off your makeup. You grab some water and probably like a little hand towel or something. I use a face halo, love that. It just removes my makeup like whoosh, it's off. So yeah. Love this, highly, highly, highly recommend. It does not clog my pores and it just takes it all off. And then I follow it up with my favorite cleanser. Um, I feel like I've also been talking about this for years. I don't change up my skincare much at all, like at all. The only thing I do like change up with my skin is if I'm gonna do a different treatment, like a different mask, I'll play around with those and then I'll add in like a serum or an oil or something, but like my cleanser, moisturizer, and like cleansing balms and things, like I keep it tight. I have like a routine that I've stuck to for a long time. So this is one of the things that I have used for years. This is the Shiseido Deep Cleansing Foam. Before this, I used their Ibuki Deep Cleansing Foam, but they discontinued that. So then I started using this and I love it. It's very similar. It froths up, it doesn't strip my skin, but I feel really clean. I love it. It's awesome. And so I'm including it. And then this, I'm undecided on if I wanna buy this or Drunk Elephant just came out with a spray, but I'm gonna recommend this to you because I've been using it constantly. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is a YouTube classic, and I love to use this first thing in the morning before I go to the gym because I don't wanna waste my nice skincare bougie product whole routine on the gym because then when I come back from the gym, I shower and then I put on my skincare again. It just seems like I'm wasting that first one, you know? So I've been spraying my face with this because I just need two sprays just to liven me up and make me feel like alive and fresh and not like, you know? So I've been really loving this. Sometimes I'll use it on top of my makeup, but I just don't feel like I need that. And then the other way that I use this is after I do my skincare at nighttime, I will spray this on top of everything just to give me a nice little like glow. But I've been loving this. I feel so bougie when I use it. I love the way it smells and it kind of just gives me like those nostalgic feels because of old school YouTube. So highly recommend this. Um, And then lastly, I feel like body products are things that, I feel like the body is where I don't really like splurge on like everything, like my, my chest up, I splurge on. So um, when it comes to like body wash and things, I pretty much just use like Dove body wash. I rarely ever moisturize my body. You guys know I recently got that body oil, which I've been liking. And then I forgot that I do really like this. I just don't use it all the time because to me it's so bougie and I don't wanna waste it. But this is the Necessaire body wash and I really do like it. They have very nice products. They're coming out with more products too because when I first found them, it was just this and the non, this is the sandalwood body wash. And then they had the non-scented one or unscented one and then like a body lotion and that was it. And I think that they have like a shampoo and conditioner now too, maybe. Um, so I'm gonna check out and see what they've got, but I highly recommend the body wash if you're looking for a bougie body wash or wanna splurge on yourself or you've been interested in the brand and wanna get a discount because you can during the sale, I would recommend it. It smells really good. This is the sandalwood. I also like the unscented one. They're both really good. Okay, I think that's it for my recommendations. Now I'm gonna get into what's in my cart. I made a list. So potentially in more perfume, Peony Blush Suede. This is one of my go-tos. This is what I wore on my wedding day. So I would like to get another one while I can get a discount. Um, 
I really need a texture spray. Like I really need a hair texture spray, especially for a look like this. I need some grit in my hair. It's so like silky smooth and like healthy. <laughs> I need it to rough up a little bit. So I think I'm probably gonna end up getting the uh, Pureology texture spray. I really love that one. It's just been a while since I've had it. So I need something to like spray in here so I can just piece it and it can go like this. I need body. So I need a texture spray. If you can recommend one that you like, please let me know down below. I do also really like the Fat Boy texture spray, but it's really hard to find anymore. But I do love the smell of that. So I might get that, but I don't think it's at Sephora. I would like to get more of the Drunk Elephant Oil. If you have another oil that you recommend, let me know. The Makeup by Mario lip, it's either the lip gloss or the lipstick. I need to ask Amanda because she had it on in a picture and I was like, oh my God, What's on your lips? And she said, it's makeup by Mario. So whatever it is that's on her lips, I need to go buy. And then yeah, either the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, I need to replenish this or potentially get the one from Drunk Elephant because when I was looking on their website today, it looks like they came out with a facial mist and I would like to maybe try something new. Yeah, that's what's on my list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's in my cart and what my recommendations were. I know it's very repetitive as far as recommendations go just because I use all the same things, but I don't know, I feel like I would rather that than like me give you like a bunch of bullshit recommendations. Um, there were a couple new things like the hair stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you're getting in the sale down below in the comments section. Let me know too, if there's been anything that you've tried in the past, like on a whim from a sale, from the Sephora sale that ended up working out for you. I'd love to know. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you soon.